Morning, folks. Gender issues. What they are. Where they came from. What they mean. And where it's going. It is now 8.36 a.m. Wednesday, July 19th, 2017. Du, 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 du. Anyway. Excuse me. There's a, oh, salud, compai, cheers, mate. Like my coffee, rough morning. It's a six cup espresso morning. <laughs> this is what's behind gender, and I want you all to know this now. And for the future with what's happening. Um, I don't have any way to locate my videos together. Deanna will do that some other time later. She'll organize that. It's important for you have for you all to have this information, the physical bodies, as time goes on and more of you more and more of you bleh, wake up. Uh, start becoming yourselves uh, you need to know certain things to help yourself along the way um, understanding your gender is one of one of them uh, I thought I was gonna quit putting out videos a few times from going but now uh, I mean from uh, getting out of this body <coughs> but uh, <coughs> excuse me uh, but um, now I'm just, you know, the body's fading to the point where I can't physically keep doing it. Uh, so for those, for the very, very, very few of you that don't like watching my videos, number one, number two, I won't be putting them up anymore with those new ones, but they'll still be here. But number one, why are you watching them? <laughs> We can all do silly things. We've all been made to do silly, stupid, even regretful things. Some people just don't care. It's who they are inside. Things have already changed. In many ways that you all are going to keep finding out more and more about. But you're going to find them by relaxing and letting yourself loose and flowing into the field, which actually goes through you, like I've said. But the stronger part of your spirit coming out of your crown, upper crown that is, it comes out into the field and just starts floating around. <coughs> Excuse me, people, you don't go out in space to do it. It's right here. You're in it. It's in you. Okay, you're in the third dimension. There's a field of energy around you. Your physical body is inside it, yet it goes inside you. It goes through you, okay? You don't go through it, it goes through you. But when you let yourself out, when you relax and let yourself flow out of your body, you're literally matching, somewhat matching the frequencies of this field. So why? So you could absorb the information. Folks, this stuff is simple and you're natural at it. You just have to let go of the old worthless negative thought processes to understand you are cooler than you've ever thought you are, to where you don't understand the extent, full, full extent by any way, of who you really are and what you can do, and have faith in yourselves as I have faith in you. That's the core of what all this, these videos are. Anyway, uh, let's get back into the gender bender issue. When you bend, when you lean, you're bending. That's why it's just gender bender popped in my head. Uh, why is it some people are homosexual, heterosexual, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let me state first. Uh, this life, I'm completely heterosexual, okay? Um, uh, I understand how things happen. It doesn't bother me. Uh, 
if some guy pushes himself on me, I get pissed um, and aggressive almost immediately. If a woman does, and I, I want to be left alone, uh, I don't get as aggressive, but I'm still very to the point. I get aggressive, but not as aggressive. Um, and at this point in my life is where this is really coming from. Um, I'm tired. I'm sick. Okay. Um, my cirrhosis has gotten to the point where my body's just filling up with water. Uh, it's all happening to negate my leaving. Um, for for to uh, my head's killing me. Um, to set up my uh, getting out of my body. Anyway, uh, let's talk about gender. The reason why I say these things about myself, people are going to wonder later, who was this guy? You know, what's up with him? If I want to have any faith in what he says, or even trying to understand what it is where, he, where he's coming from with it, I need to know a little bit about the person. Folks, this is a normal thing. None of this is about myself. This information will be here pretty much forever. Okay? So... Actually, it will be here forever. As long as there's a third dimension, this information will be here. A couple thousand years from now, um, when you have the energy bodies, then it won't, uh, it won't be necessary to have it uh, here physically. These new energy bodies are like the Fey bodies, but uh, they're even easier to move in and out of. It's like you're going to college and you're away from the house you live in. But, excuse me, even though you have your own dorm room where you're supposed to stay, even though that's the case, you can leave and go home and then go back in it real quick. So you don't actually leave the body. It's, I'll ex try to explain that later, but the thing is, just remember the thought process. You, you'll be able to see who you really are, know who you really are. See every th everyone that's your friend and uh, everyone else that's on the other side. But in the meantime, you'll be going through a physical life that has some strife in it. Not abuse like these physical bodies, but strife. They'll be very thick energetic bodies is what they're going to be. The Fae can literally... Uh, the bodies that they have that were made for them by Lily and Ara, okay? Um, the Fae bodies made for them, they can solidify more. You can actually see, you can see energy come together. They'll solidify in a body reach out their hand, give you a handshake, pull it back, and then go back in energy. These new energy bodies that are coming that you're all going to have lives in? Um, cooler than that? <laughs> Excuse me. It'll be uh, even better than that. So Things are changing in a, in a good way. Again, let's get back to gender. I have so much to tell you. There's so much I want to drop off on your plate that I have a tendency to fall away from the main course. But I don't have much time. I have a lot of information you can use. So I'm always trying to force as much as I can onto that plate, okay? Um, I feel bad. As I say that, I, I wish there was some way I could leave more, but I, I'm doing what I can, folks. I'm in a body just like you. Same trip. Okay, now gender. Where does gender come from? Gender comes from the original first being. Split itself, and it was lonely, so it split itself in two different parts that were similar. It split itself into two parts, but it wasn't like an even cut, exactly the same amount of frequencies here, the same amount and type of frequencies here, okay? It changed the frequencies here and there. Some had all this, some had a little bit of this, um, some had none of this, and then different uh, percentages, and that would made two individuals. One happened to be a little larger. Believe it or not, that was the male. I'm not saying male is better than female by any way whatsoever. It's just how they did it, okay? And why? Because, again, there would be a s small amount of differentiation. So having the two different frequencies separate in the format for which frequencies went uh, this way and that way, they used that as a base formula 
for when they released energy it would it would uh, come into small orbs and then it would split into male and female when I say energy I should have said spirit sentient energy but it has its own energy field coming off of it uh, for all the particulars you can go into uh, 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 the first creation book creation is beginning in your origin uh, I'm in a process uh, of trying to put together as much information as I can for you uh, before <laughs> I finally get to drop this body and get the hell out of it. It'll just happen. Excuse me, it'll be done by the other side. <sighs> Damn, I'm not trying to be rude, just feeling rough. Um, Anyway, uh, there's a lot of limits in these bodies, okay? But one of them is when your spirit, when the original first being male and female, like anything else, when I say anything else, there's only uh, three other sets of beings that have ever done this. They put their energy together, male and female, like two hands coming together, but they come right apart, okay? It's not becoming one, but they put their energy together as one, and they can only release a maximum of a third of their energy. That's the maximum they can put out of their spirit with its energy. And then that field goes out like you take water and pour it over the hood of a car that's just been waxed. Okay, it's like a sheet of water, then it thins out, and then it starts becoming little uh, uh, like globules, okay, of uh, water. Energy is similar. It's not as heavy, but it's a similar process. And all those little globules, got globules, then they start, as soon as they're separated and they're one unit, then they start to vibrate and then they split into two different parts. That's how your energy is formatted to go like that. That's how it was done in the very beginning, the very first being. When it split itself, it made a format that that's how it would always go. Why? Because it didn't want anything to ever happen where it would wind up going back into one person and be alone again. Folks, this isn't in a book. This is stuff that I know. Uh, uh, Lily and I are the oldest ones. And by old, I'm talking about men alive. Okay. Um, actually, the spirit that's out there anymore, we are the oldest, period. That's nothing to brag about. That's nothing. It's it just, it is. Yeah. A book's a hardcover, a book's a soft cover. So what? It's a book. A car, a truck, you know, they're different, made for different things. So what? Not, you know, no one is better than the other. They can do different things better than each other, but they're no better. Um, anyway. So when the spirit vibrates and pulls itself apart, the percentage of different frequencies that would originally um, uh, suggest the male uh, spirit and then the female Okay, when that, when, when that orb of spirit with its energy vibrates and comes apart, it's not 100% male, 100% female. It might be 51-49. It might be 35-65. It, it could be 21-79. Uh, Hope I got those numbers right. <laughs> um, it is what it is. And that's what happened to me. It's like when these five waves of souls were released from the original first being, that was 27.5% lower frequencies, what we call negativity. Whatever came out, came out. So, the ori originally there was the original first being, what people have are still calling God. It's dead. It's completely deleted, except for maybe a couple little teeny pieces that might be hanging around me where I can't see them, and I won't be able to until I get out of this damn body. What you are is spirit, sentient energy, like a tuning fork. Okay, you bam, take a tuning fork, hit it on something, you hear that beautiful frequency, stick it in some molasses and see what happens. That's what it's like when you're in a body. It's more like tar, though. Anyway, um, so I'm not saying jump out of your body. Let's keep going with what we have. Um, Anyway, uh, so they split into what we know as male and female. Some of them, the ones that are closer, 
like 48% uh, if a being to two beings separate and uh, one being one half of that one there's it separates into two different parts those are the actual spirit mates there's soul mate there's essence mate not many of those and then there's source mate which is like almost nothing uh, it, when you compare them all in ratios um, so um, one spirit mate will be male but it would be 52% male and 48% female. That's close to half and half. And the other would be, the female would be the same, but, you know, 52% female and 48% male. Uh, that's w That type of person usually has more lives uh, homosexual than heterosexual because it doesn't really matter. And everyone's had lives as both because they, uh, you know, as both uh, in both male and female bodies, uh, reason why you want to understand your spirit sentient energy that's put in a body with another piece of sentient energy uh, spirit that uh, used to belong to the planet uh, the planet's uh, spirit Gaia released 11 and a quarter million years ago um, so it's easier for you and you probably want to do it more often um, for those of you that aren't, it's more difficult for you to relate to that. And as uh, when you have friends and stuff like that, unless you're pushed into it, uh, you really don't care that much about it. Don't want to be there. Um, don't want to be around each other. You know, the opposite type. So uh, then the physical world, the struggle. Uh, that the, the more the uh, spirit struggles while it's in a body when it comes out when you have a life and you come out of the body you come out of the body and then poof you grow when you've had a real strenuous life you come out of the body and poof you grow like this and that's why this creation this physical creation uh, third dimension is set up so abusively is and there was abuse in all the dimensions so excessive the second dimension is where we live uh, at a body uh, uh, you know when we're on a, in our normal state and then the first dimension is just it's separated isolated and uh, literally sealed they can't get out and nothing can get in and there's new uh, first type beings and they're already growing close to ready to come out there's little pieces of them that are ready to come out I've met them talked with them and uh, we'll leave that there um, so that's why we have that. We have people that want to have a life in the body that's opposite to our frequencies. A male and a female body or a female and a, a female spirit and a male body. The ones that are closer to 50-50, um, uh, it's easier for them and more natural. Um, that's what's going on with this. Now, I've spoken to this before. Was, I think it was a couple of years ago. Some, I don't know. I don't do time, and I, I can't just go in and out of time anymore. I'm too much stuck on what I'm doing right here, and the focus is on getting out what I can before I finally get out of this damn body, okay? Now, what I've never said before, I was talking with Deanne about this, because it was coming, you know, it's something that what I am, this out of body, brings into my conscious mind, so I can bring it on video. Sometimes that's what's talking to you. Okay, it's myself. However, the strongest part of me, just like the strongest part of you, this is the natural way of things, is the part that's inside the body. But that doesn't mean that your spirit hanging outside of the body isn't awake and aware it is. It's just not, it doesn't have to go through this, through this filter. Uh, here's your upper crown, okay? There's the hypothalamus, here's the hypothalamus, okay? Then there's a the lower crown. They move, they move information by through energy back and forth. And then there's a middle crown, which is like a lens, almost like a magnifying glass. Then there's the upper crown, energy ball like this, and comes a flow comes out of your head, going all through the spirit core. The dual spirit core, people call it a kundalini. And uh, the spirit, not the sentient energy, the spirit, usually it comes, it's like this, and it comes out of your head like that. It goes up a, like a flashlight. When it, if you put it right here, it's, it's a uh, diameter. It's maybe five inches. You stick it over here, whatever, it's a foot, whatever. Forget the ratio. Just you get the idea. It increases. Well, as a cone goes up out of your head, it's like a flashlight beam. It just gets bigger. That energy is usually one and a half times um, the power level of what comes out the side. Your aura comes off of everything, okay? It comes off the spirit, it comes off the energy. Um, and the aura, 
the different color auras, that's literally a byproduct of the frequencies that are coming out of your body. Okay, um, I did a video on that. It's got a picture of me uh, leaning against the, uh, uh, on the dock at the Chattahoochee River, leaning against the wooden rail, and I'm just, and it says, uh, understanding energy uh, frequencies and their auras, something in their auric expression, in their auras, something like that. It's at the spiritualfoundation.com. So anyway, that's why we have a difference in gender. Um, now, the part that is new that I've never talked about, uh, I don't think I've ever mentioned it uh, before. If I did, it was in passing. I'm just getting no, I didn't. Um, these new first beings coming out of the coming out of the first original or first dimension. Uh, when spirit is created there, it's both male and female. It's complete. The original first being, it was alone. It was scared. It was uh, uh, lonely. Okay? And, and then it just it, it, it became stronger and everything. And then it lost being scared almost right away. It quit being scared. It's just lonely. Want a company. And then split itself. Well, guess what? These new first beings come out don't need... Uh, um, don't need companionship. They're not alone. There's no need for them to do that. That's going to make them more relaxed, easier to deal with, but they're going to stay. Um, uh, most of them are going to want to stay, at, at least the bigger part of them. Um, <coughs> excuse me, they're going to want to keep as they are, which is unisexual. Okay, they're going to, they're going to be every, all, everything all in one. Now, the only thing that uh, spirit form that is like that is angels okay almost all the original first angels are gone there's only two of the um, big angels from the beginning um, the the largest ones is other first angels that are strong archangels and stuff but the, the the biggest ones the strongest ones excuse me the only two that are around are Archangel Michael and uh, uh, parts of Lucifer no Lucifer was not the devil there's never was a devil Lucifer was created by the original first being male and female as the very first thing they created because then when they pulled out energy, when they when they decided they wanted to create and make more company, they put their energies together, released an energy field, okay? And it literally, uh, they took 97% of the negativity out of it, the lower frequencies, okay? They took 97% of the lower frequencies, 7.1 or 2 something, I don't know, whatever. I, I, I see the thing in my head, who cares? 97%. They pulled out, and it was in a big field. Folks, that was negative original first being. That was aggressive, lower frequency, um, original source energy, first being energy. They made Lucifer. But the angel that's called Lucifer, they made, him, they made it, okay, um, um, immediately after and it was strong powerful huge um actually um it was made basically at the same time and he protected it i mean you know he control he controlled it i uh, protected them protected everything else but he controlled it um the original first being i think i mentioned already was 27 half percent lower frequencies the lower frequencies, the more the negative attitude, that's where negativity comes from, negative out, um, output of energy. Uh, uh, putting out negative attitude energy, which is lower fre lowest frequencies. The pulse width is longer with a small uh, uh, wavelength coming out, if you want to look at it uh, an analog. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to work on um, automotive repair stuff, you know, on vehicles, and I really excelled in the computers and stuff like that. Um, the harder it was, the more I enjoyed it. I actually fixed whatever I got. Uh, whatever car is given. I liked it. I like to fix things. It's part of what I am. Anyway, whatever. Um, a little flashback of my other earlier days. Um, as you all understand, from knowing me and those of you that come in to see me for the first time or to hear me for the first time um, It's easy to pick off what I am. 
okay, as far as my thought process, process and what I see, understand, and talk about, is way the hell out there. You, you know, except for some people that I've been with for a few years, and when they talk, and I'm so glad they are, and I hope they'll talk more and more. Um, and there's a lot of them, too many to name, and I'll leave some out, and then it seems like I'm being favorite. I'm not. I love everything and everyone. And everyone is everything that's spirit. Plants, animals, planets, stars, people, everything. I, I wouldn't be me if I didn't. But uh, I was made in the beginning what I am inside. To serve and protect. Not to be a servant. And do well, yeah, they wanted me to be a servant. And do whatever they do whatever they told me to do. And I outgrew that real quick because they made me so damn strong. Because they wanted me to protect them, they made me real strong. Anyway, uh, animal uh, essence, spirit. The separate animal essence, spirit is actually essence. Uh, very powerful. Um, the only thing more powerful than essence is source. Okay, now animal essence is made from the frequencies of compassion and incredible fortitude. Uh, you won't find honor like you will in an animal, okay? Period. Um, I'll, I'm including myself. Uh, don't want to, but that, uh, generally speaking, that is the case, and all animal essence has honor. So, Y'all have been abused for a long time. That's over. Anyway, uh, so getting back to the um, to the um, main part of what I'm supposed to be talking about, uh, these new beings coming out, they're not going to be lonely. They're not going to feel the need to separate in anything else of, uh, and to separate into two different parts, male and female, except for understanding. Uh, wanting to understand more about everything okay and they're going to be much lighter spirit much higher frequencies okay period it's not going to be allowed for anything nasty to come out again period i expect uh i expect the most uh per, the higher the highest percentage of uh uh, lower frequencies, what we call negativity, coming out of the first dimension, allowed to come out of the first dimension, allowed to grow into a being, uh, is going to be 10%, around 10%. Um, and there is something that can now help cultivate new beings as they're grown to becoming what's good and healthy for them, not aggressive and negative, but not trying to manipulate genes like... Our friends doing space and everything. That's not an issue. Dan and I are about to get another visit. Uh, haven't talked with her about it, but uh, they're coming down tonight. So they take uh, eggs from a. Uh, they can take eggs from a uh, human female, Earth and human female, and they can manipulate them into four more beings. Four more eggs. So uh, they can do some pretty neat things to them. It's like you and me uh, drinking a glass of orange juice or water or something. But to us, it's a whole new world just because we're not exposed to it yet. So anyway, these new beings coming out that don't need to separate into male and female. There's no need for them to separate themselves to have company. What's that going to do for everything? Is everyone going to be homosexual? Is everyone going to be heterosexual? You know, what, what's going on? Um, there's going to be um, the format for this new creation. It's just barely starting to, to happen. It's not a, it hasn't been made law yet, so to speak. Excuse me. It's in a process of forming. Excuse me, folks. Not trying to be gross. Um, this um, process is about to be made a permanent foundation for creation. 
including new beings coming out and everything else. This thing called Ari, it is the strongest thing there is. It, it is loving, cares almost nothing for itself. It does protect, and it will not allow anything to harm anything else. It'll stop it, talk to it. If that doesn't work, it'll smack it, say stop, and if it needs to, it can actually delete it. That's the power of the oldest source male energy there is. So, um, if if you could see, and, and I, I'm anxious for all of you, it would be so nice if you could now, for all of you, keep seeing more and more until you can see this for yourself. You can see pretty far back into the beginning of creation, at least to the beginning of, if your soul, at least to the beginning of the souls being created. But see, you, if you relax, you just go into the field, and then you can see what happened before then. See, that's the importance of all this stuff. It's part of it. There's so much going on. So anyway, these new beings, so what are we going to have? Is everyone going gay? Um, you know, homosexual? Folks, it's got, there's new dimensions about to be built. Okay, there's all kinds of stuff. Everything from the original first being that wants to will be in a, a heterosexual dimension with a couple individuals or something that want to be homosexual, whatever. Um, and I don't even like those terms. I'm just using them as something for people to... Uh, uh, unisex and dual sex, whatever. Um, excuse me. Um... That's just, in communicating, we use whatever terms we have, okay? My name's Jay. It's one letter, so legal name, John David Essex. Uh, my other aliases, uh, legal aliases, are J. Essex and J. Ara Essex. I have legal documents in my, legal, in my name of J. Ara Essex. Um, all this stuff that I'm proving about energy, what I can do, so that you can understand you can do it, and you have something, you know, a reason to say, hey, this guy already proved this stuff. You No longer do you have to be concerned about saying, I talk with spirit, and it talks back. If something tells you to go kill something, you have an issue. Either it's a, a, a situation that was done to your brain, usually uh, um, uh, having to do with uh, DNA manipulation, um, then, you know, medicine is the way to get away from that. But folks, unless something's telling you to aggressively kill stuff, no. Depending on where and why, 10 to 20% of the people that are in uh, uh, mental institutions actually have a serious problem. The others, uh, that was done to them. Things are going to get fixed. To the way they should have been. It just takes, it's going to take a little bit. If I, if I, like I've used this analogy before, if I build a brand new engine, uh, if I build an engine out of new parts, it takes a third of the time that it does to do it out of used parts. You have to clean the used parts, inspect them, measure them, check them out, feel them as you put them together, as well as measure everything. Measure twice, cut once. Um, anyway, uh, it's going to take just a little bit to do it. Now, there'll be a dimension for those that are basically heterosexual. And there'll be other dimensions for others. Folks, you're going to be able to go in and out of whatever one you want as long as you're not going to cause an issue. And if you do, you just be removed from it and put somewhere else. I don't mean deleted. I mean, just removed from the area. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going on. Suck that dry. Oh, thanks for the gift of coffee, too, folks. Uh, Y'all know who I'm talking to. Uh, I don't put anyone... Uh, I, unless someone's a friend of mine, I know it's okay. I don't mention people's name on video that uh, have uh, actually, you know, uh, 
send me a gift or something like that. Uh, sorry, my mind's floating right now. My own uh, part of myself outside of my body. Love this grapefruit juice, man. This stuff's awesome. Bada boom, bada bing. Um, it keeps working on my head. It's hard. Yes, they. Uh, they used to start about eight o'clock. That's why my consults would be from eleven to eight. I get up early in the morning and start taking care of the animals, working on this, working on that. And six o'clock would be my last consult, so that by seven, when it was when it, everything had to be finished by then. I'd have just a little bit of time to relax, and then I get pounded on my head. This has to do with getting me out of this body properly. Um, my head, it's up higher now, and then it goes in like that. You know, it's just, if you take the time, if you if you want to bother doing this, you can take the time to look at me on video now and look at me a, year, a long time ago. And you can see the change in my head, which will be more, much more aggressive than a change in anyone else's head, okay? Unless you have some type of disease or something. People said, well, the brain grows a little bit. Yeah, not like mine. When you get cranked up, your brain grows. So, anyway, uh, if you don't believe me, take measurements. I've told people that if you just get a piece of rope and you tie it in a knot, get it real tight, and then put it on your head to where it'll go. Make sure it'll go down your head, not over your ears. It's not like putting on a necklace. But uh, something that will float down over your head. And then just put it in a drawer. If you get cranked up, before you get cranked up, do that. Um, and then put it in a drawer. A drawer. Drawer. Wow. Uh, in your desk or uh, 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 cabinet, whatever. And then pull it out four months later. When you go to pull it down, it's not going to flow too easily. Now, the older you are... Uh, the less nutrients you have in your body, meaning you don't take good enough care of yourself. Um, and if you're doing drugs or something like that, you know, something you're not supposed to, uh, something that's not helping your body, it takes away from yourself, um, then that's going to keep that from happening or it'll just be a much smaller amount. When you're young and healthy and have plenty of nutrients, um, take care of yourself, it's going to grow. Okay? Uh, all this stuff I'm talking about, you know, you've never seen it anywhere. It's never whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's all been proved with medical equipment so far, but the DNA stuff has been, uh, I can actually change people's DNA. Deanna just did. Um, there'll be more stuff coming. The hard DNA change that's going on is going to be done um, by source that spirit that has it you know things in a row um and it's going to be done um on, thank you only with specific people i hesitated too long in saying that so my own energy messed with the lights um this is planned this is being done a certain way Certain people need to have this DNA change in the bodies. I'm talking to, when you get cranked up, your DNA changes, period. Period. When you, uh, uh, there's less of a change when you're 80 than there is when you're 18, 20. Um, but it happens. This DNA work I'm talking about, DNA change is a reformat. Excuse me. Deanna has done it now. I'm going to put a gentleman on that received it here recently. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm being hammered. Not hammered. I'm being talked to nicely to hurry up and get going. i got a lot to do. Um, I'm so close to having things set up for Deanna so I can get out of here and get to work doing what, I'm, what I need to now. Um, anyway, uh, excuse me, oh, this is just, these scientists are proven I can actually, that I actually have and do change 
your DNA. And Deanna has already done it. And this other side are going to be doing it. Okay, who went what? I'm not saying nothing now. And you know what? I'm not myself yet. I am me, but I'm still stuck in this body. I need to come out of this body, join the rest of me, run it. And then I know what, what's, what's the right thing to do. What's the best thing to do for everybody. Uh, that's another part of why I've told you all for years. You have no idea who you really are. You have no idea how cool you are. You have no idea what you can do. Because it's true. Some people took that like, oh, he thinks he knows more about me than I do. He thinks he's so cool. No, I'm not. If I was cool, I would have found a way to do this a long time ago. What I am is like so many others. Something with a ton of hard energy that actually has a ton of love and actually cares. I was formatted in the very beginning when I was as spirit when I was made. I was made a servant protect. Just don't tell me what to do. I'm not a servant. When you serve, that doesn't make you a servant. A servant does whatever's told, like the poor original first angels. That, that ain't me. So, and your frequencies can be enhanced, changed, and uh, manipulated when you're out of a body. When you're out of a body and you're calm, relaxed, in your normal state, then if you want to get your frequencies changed, you can get it. Um, folks, there's all kinds of things that's about to happen. And the, the gender thing, the gender bender issue, folks, you, you can have options there too. I am so tired of being in the body. I have so much I have to do. The most important thing is done. The most important thing that has to be done, period, was done already. And then the most important thing for me helping you is already done. And I have to go into some people and crank them out and do some stuff with the scientists here out in Spain. And these are not scientists that are government people. that, that They don't get government grants. These people are real scientists that are very well known. They deal with the people that support them are large companies. I'm not saying they are these companies. I'm saying they're large companies like. Might be more to it, maybe not. But they're large companies like, say, Apple or Ferrari. Okay? I'm not tied into exactly what's going on in his business. And I don't want to. You know, that's... I mean, I know the, the main guy. I know him. He's cool as hell. Love him. I cranked him up. Did the DNA crank up on him? And I was doing it. He was feeling it. He goes, how the frack are you doing this? And I told him I had a satellite beamed at his house. <laughs> Got a little remote control. <laughs> Guy's really cool. So, <coughs> things are going to change because... <coughs> Excuse me. Things are going to change into what they should have been originally. Because that's the way it should be. Some people can say, I talk around in circles in simplicity. Well, if I'm saying something and I'm simple and I repeat it just so you, get, you hear it again. Have the process, have the thought process available to read, look at it, see if you like it better. Then fine, I'm doing my job. <coughs> Excuse me. When I finally get out of this body, you'll notice that there's more people getting involved in this. It's important that I get out of here before you have your final proof before the final proof of what I am and what I'm doing um, comes out. Because it ain't about the old fart and overalls, man. It's about everything else. I'm not trying to make it a direct analogy here, but I'm trying to give you an idea of something. If you're a father, or say better, an older brother, if you're an older brother and, and you love the rest of your family, you do stuff for them. Why? Because you want to. And what happens when you do that? It makes you feel good inside. 
So you're pleasing yourself and you feel as the elder, it's your responsibility. You know what I call that? Satisfaction. What did I say in the last body I was in, Gandhi? People say it's my last life, but honestly, I was in there with, um, I was in that body, <coughs> but there was another uh, part of spirit, the Kundalini, the dual, dual core uh, uh, energy. <coughs> Excuse me, the dual spirit core. And um, um, I said something about how when you follow your heart, when you do what you know is right, um, when you act upon how you feel and think and let it just become one, that's when you're finally yourself. That's when you're a success. That's when you're the most incredible and powerful thing you could possibly be yourself and when you are yourself there's happiness that was the end result of all that talk is that when you are yourself do what is right for you and you know is right then you'll be happy that was a horrible life <laughs> some people said Jay wants to be every famous person no Number one, I was what I was. Uh, number two, every life sucked. Although there was good moments. There's always had to be good moments to keep you in a body. Otherwise, we'd all be committing suicide at 10 years old to get out of the body. The original first being male and female was the only thing that ever ran bodies when it was still alive. It ran lives, excuse me. <clears throat> when people were in the bodies, they controlled everything became arrogant and demanded praise. If something was worth you praising it, number one, it wouldn't want it. Number two, it wouldn't allow it. It would say, no, do not put me above yourself because I am not. It wouldn't say, give me more. Things are as simple as they can be. My last life, I made my own clothing. Well, I don't make my own overalls, okay? But I wear overalls. I don't know why this keeps popping into my head, but uh, I remember a long time ago, a life I had here, <coughs> excuse me, uh, my name was George, not Bush, <laughs> uh, George W., just not Bush, that's funny, isn't it, I've just, I've been talking to myself here, um, anyway, uh, I remember thinking about the, uh, originally there was some kind of small white hawk or something, that w white hawk, white eagle or something that was supposed to be the national bird. And uh, someone said that they wanted it to be the bald eagle because it was so large, huge, wingspring, large, uh, wingspan, excuse me, wingspring, bleh, wingspan. And powerful and aggressive when you look at it. And I kind of laughed when I heard it. It was uh, the fight for independence was going on and I was very involved in it. Okay, so anyway, when I heard that, <coughs> it actually gave me a moment to chuckle, which was nice. And I said, that's perfect. We are strong. We are valiant. But if you've ever seen a bald eagle when it's landing and other stuff, it's very clumsy. And I thought, perfect. Because we're trying to, we're fighting like hell for independence, getting some help from France and others. There are a lot more Indians involved helping us than you were. I had a connection to the Red Race. The Red Race came from the Red Adam. That's what I am inside. The five Adams and Eves came here five times on this planet. If that's all, all that stuff's in book number two. I think it's mentioned in book number one, Creation is Beginning Your Origin, but book number two, uh, uh, Creation is Journey Evolving into Paradise, uh, is uh, that second book, it's in there um, with more detail. I talk all about the <coughs> Atlantis and everything. I don't talk about myself, I'm talking about the stuff that happens. 
I've been very involved in this planet and every every other one uh, because of what I am inside. I'm no better than the dirt you walk on. I just am. Like dirt. <laughs> I've People that have actually been waking up looked at me somewhere that were already pretty darn awake. And they looked at me and they go, what are you? You know, you've been around, you're an old soul. I said, well, I'm something different, but yeah, I'm old. And they said, how old? And I said, well, I was the, I was the first one to invent uh, soap. I was the one that invented soap. I have I had to. I was the first one to play with dirt. Um, I am the old fart of creation. Uh, I'm not putting myself down. I'm making a joke. The less you understand about yourself. Understanding takes the blade, takes the edge off the blade of truth, which has two sides and two sharp edges. Understanding makes it dull, to where it's more like a spear, uh, like a, a a rod instead of a uh, uh, dual sharp dual bladed uh, sword. It helps you understand more about stuff, and then you, it just it, the, the, so many other things that would normally bother you don't even matter. So anyway, that's the uh, gender thing. You're in, you're in a physical body, but that's not what you are. When you drive a Cadillac, a Mercedes, a Beamer, um, a Chrysler, uh, whatever you want to drive, Honda, whatever you drive, when you're in there driving it, you're not a Honda. You're you. People might associate you with a Honda, but you're not. You're an individual, your spirit, sentient energy. And you will live forever. Unless you get to the point where you literally have to attack everything. If you don't stop, you'll be deleted. That's how you cure a body of cancer. When it is bad, it won't stop. When it is damaging, it won't stop. You cut it out. But that's not, you know, those of you that worry about it, it's not you. Um, anyway, those people that really are nasty, they don't care about anything like that. Um, if you don't care about it, because you know you're not good. But some people just don't care about that. They're too busy, you know, trying to beat up everything they can find. They're, they're leaving permanently. Anyway, folks, uh, that's the gender thing. It's not right or wrong. It just is. Why not leave it alone? If it's not you, it's not. It's like I said. I'm heterosexual. Uh, homosexual stuff, I don't have any desire for it. I'm almost... This body is almost dead. Done. I, sex to me, it, I'm sorry. I'm just tired. I, what I think about is dying. This body dying. Me, I don't die. But I'm thinking about the body dying so I can come, get the hell out of it and get going with everything else I have to do. I got a lot of work. And I'll never stop. It just keeps going. Well, good. But I just I want to do it without these restraints. Um, it's time for me. Oh, some of these fears uh, um, that I'm making now, I'm putting gay renight in it. <laughs> um, I'm trying to... <laughs> shut up, stomach. Um, I'm trying to... Uh, I'm trying to do everything I can, man. These fears, when I leave... They're going to be all that they can possibly be. And they're cranked up hard. Gaywa, she's strong. Her her energy? <laughs> Remember, Gaywa was was the original first planet that all essence had their lives on until the souls were released. Five different waves with a lot of time a lot of time in between. So she was two hundred and seventy times the mass of Jupiter. She was huge. The Google uh Jupiter versus Earth in size. Okay, Mult multiply that times 270. <laughs> That's why she's so strong. Anyway, folks, look, love you. Um, whether you're heterosexual or homosexual, as far as your gender thoughts, you want to help yourself? You want to help those you care about? Just let it go. Just be you. Don't worry about it. 
These bodies don't belong to us. They're leased vehicles that we go inside, the doors are welded shut, and either they fall apart around us or we hit something head on intentionally. A bridge embankment to get out of it, okay? And the life you're going to want to have when you get out of your body and your your normal self again, once you're calmed down and you can make a good decision for yourself as your true self, not something wedged in the body, in that car that's welded, that has the doors welded shut, that's when you make decision of, the decision of what you want to do, where you want to be. And the new energy body's coming, give it a couple thousand years, that's not that long. Um, you're going to love them. If you really want to leave the body, you just go. But without the physical, the actual constant physical mass, there's no need of uh, abuse. It's just almost completely taken out of uh, your lives. 72 to 78 percent of all the abuse in your, of all the frustration, abuse, everything else, all the abuse in your lives will be gone soon anyway. But uh, um, uh, all the abuse will be taken out of your lives, and then a lot of the other hardship. So that's what's coming. That's why there's issues with gender. Preferred gender, you know, physical gender. That's what's going on. So, when you understand something, it it doesn't. It's not as big a deal anymore. That's the power of taking information, looking at it. It's a natural thing to make your own decision how you feel about it, apply it to what you're aware of already, and then it becomes an understanding. The more you understand, it'll change your other understandings a little bit, but it also creates a, gr a larger bundle of understanding, which is what we call wisdom. And if somebody's really smart, they're no better than you, but they might have good information for you. Remember, nothing's better than you, and we're not any better than, than each other. Okay? When you exist, you have equal rights. Know that for yourself. Explain that to others when they need to hear it. And if there's a problem, just leave. If they won't leave you alone, either they're going to get messed with or whatever. Knock them on their butt. <laughs> I'm not trying to start fights. I'm not trying to start a war. I'm just aggressive like that. Um... I've always had a saying, I'm as nice as anyone will let me be. When people can't stop, they're going to be stopped one way or the other. Your lives are going to become that. Who you are, what you are, is how you'll be. And when something's a problem, it will be handled. Some people need to learn how to understand better, that's all. It's just the stuff going crazy that's going to be deleted. Thank you. That was actually part of my energy. That was a sharp one. Because some people worry about being deleted. And they're the last people that will be. Got so much love in their hearts. So much passion. Com compassion. Excuse me. Um, a lot of you that are starting to see stuff. Uh, the DVD I have on... Uh, I don't even know where it is. I'm, I got so much stuff everywhere. Here it is. All the DVDs and stuff, uh, books and everything, it's all um, already set up to go into Deanna's name. Um, understanding energy frequencies and her aura is copyrighted. Okay? So... That there's three pages in, I think it's three pages in here, maybe two, who knows. Um, they actually uh, uh, explain, when you see an aura, they explain the frequencies that that aura comes off of. Happiness, uh, knowledge, data, I mean, all kinds of stuff. All the, the heart puts out more different uh, auras because it puts out more different frequencies than anything else. So, the heart puts out a deep red for love, a really deep purple for a normal solid state, light green, darker green, 
blue. Light blue comes out of the heart, and some deeper blue does too. Anyway, folks, look, love you, man. Uh, that'll help some of you, some more than others. Talking about heart, look at that. Feel that stone, whoops. Feel that stone just for a minute. If you can't feel it now, you will later. Now, this is some very good road night that we have, okay? It's rough. It's AAA, though. Now feel this. Celestite. Put these two together. That's awesome. Celestite goes to the hypothalamus gland, and that's about understanding. And then this is heart, which is feeling. It creates feelings. It grabs the heart and the heart itself. And this backs up the heart energy. This the stone energy doesn't do it. The stone this rhodonite energy literally goes into the heart, makes it stronger. Pink is compassion. The darker stuff, is the the like dark gray, that's power. That makes your heart energy stronger. This works on the hypothalamus gland, makes it work stronger. The hypothalamus gland is the nexus for all the uh, center point. It's not the control point so much as it is the center point. Notice I said so much. Okay, just let that flow where you need it to as you're thinking about it. It does do some of that, but it's not a finite control. So this helps. This is uh, when, the, when the heart energy creates the feelings and the energy goes from the heart up into the hypothalamus and back and forth. The hypothalamus actually creates the understanding. That's powerful. Some lapis for your brain. Um, uh, ye yellow uh, venturing. Folks, all this stuff is, is on the uh, spiritualfoundation.com. Deanna is incredible. Um, uh, her abilities and what she can do with this stuff. Uh, Siobhan, Berju, Paul. I mean, there's so many. I mean, they're all over the place. Uh, I hate to mention names because I can't remember the, the bunch of them. And I'm not going to hold out a printout and read it. Um, these people are here to help you. And when they're here to help and they don't, or they get selfish, they're going to get a talking to from the other side. If they need to be set straight, they will. They're here to help. So, anything that starts to glorify itself, it's going to be put down. I don't mean killed. I mean put down on her butt. Get a talking to and then let them go on with their life. Anyway, all the stones and stuff are available at spiritualfoundation.com. The, the prices of stuff over there, it's more expensive. This is the best stone I can find in, in all cases. And, I've, of course, you know, it, it's put together. Um, I put my own source energy into it. It's very powerful, folks, okay? It's there to help. Um, also, uh, star asinite. The, es the star asinite family. This is some... Um, Slightly tumbled star essenite. This is very high crystal star essenite. That's all I have left, pretty much. Um, it, it, I say pretty much. I don't. Uh, I don't hardly have any star essenite that's not really high crystal. It came out of a vein. I had to get a pickaxe and dig out of the ground. Okay. Uh, this is just softly tumbled, so it takes the edges off and it doesn't crumble as much. This is literally part of a star. Okay. This is part of a star, part of Gaia, and part of Gaia. This has mass in it from Gera, the original first planet. Plus, this part of this stone is mass from a star that cooled off, solidified, and then broke up. You can find it around different places here on the planet. It's here to help you. You do not have to buy stones from us. You do not have to spend uh, that much money uh, to get the energy that's going to take you to the whatever. It helps. Okay? It helps you and if you uh, listen if you hit the uh, video uh, click on the video about star night I put one out there just recently it explains it how it cranks you up this is dragon egg star night it's star night but it has a little more star energy in it or well, star matter in it so it, it has increased star energy you see that coating around it that's the dragon egg just popped right in my head it's got a lot of strong male energy okay male source energy has a lot of dragon energy in it and then it's crystal, dragon egg, star essenite. On the outside of the crystal, this piece doesn't have it. Um, yeah, there's, there's some around. Um, it's got this coating on it. It's a much lighter color. 
it's almost see-through in some places it is and this is what it looks like okay folks this is awesome stuff it really is anyway um when you hold that stuff Gabriel goes into you and pulls more of your spirit inside of you because well none of you can fit in a body come on that's crazy um it's only crazy once you see and understand more for yourself but you're going to get there if you can't get there you're going to get there you have to apply yourself that's all put the key in the ignition turn it <laughs> fire up that ferrari that's you and go um everything you need is there the creation books they're over here in the back somewhere i'll put them up uh, after the video uh so you can see them uh, uh, they're all avail available at Amazon.com. I'm in the process of writing a third book. So, uh, I'm not a writer, but I am an author. I have published works, but I'm not a writer. Anyway, um, look, folks, I uh, love you. Take care. Uh, hope some of that can help you individually. Um, but it is here to help everyone. It will, and it does. And the more you understand about the stuff that I'm telling you, the more your life is going to start making sense. Why things are the way they are, why you are who you are. And then you start finding more about yourself. These little shadows you see move around in the corner of your eyes that go away. That's your spirit guides. Creating, taking some of their own energy and cranking it up so you see them. Uh, trying to talk with you. Hearing voices is a, a good thing when as long as they're not telling you to kill something, you can communicate with it back and forth. This is my beat up uh, deck of, <laughs> it's torn up, of uh, uh, Jared's Runes of Awakening. I'm Jared, J-R-S-6, so J apostrophe R. Um, I'm not so special, I need a name, it's just, how did, my name, my name talking is J, so what's that? And then, how do I know these things? Because what's inside me is Ara, that's where J Essex went to J R S X. Ara is the one in between the two, it's the one inside. Um, my name is simple. It's one letter, J. Anyway, uh, these books, these uh, this card and the book that goes with it, the book's up there somewhere. Um, go J. Essex uh, Creation, J. Essex Author. There's some other guy, a couple other guys, J. Essex, but you'll see uh, uh, the, the Rune book uh, and the other two Creation books. Creation is the beginning of your origin. That's how it all started creation its journey evolving uh, into paradise that's what's been going on in the third book which will not be finished till you know till well after i'm gone will be creation walking through the door i talk about some specific things that are going to happen um there's no time exact time and date uh there's a generic uh, uh process to it and it all begins when i get out of here it's stuff that I'm going to do, that I know I'm going to do, uh, even though none of us can really uh, understand and appreciate who we are when we're not in a body, because that's part of the problem with being in a body. These things I know, these few things I talk about and I say will happen, they will. So animals are leaving. Why? Because I'm going to take them. Let's just leave all that stuff there. You'll find out. And those of you that listen to this book, uh, I mean, listen to this video uh, many years from now, uh, it'll, it's all going to be part of the past, everything I'm telling you about now. That's another reason for doing a time date stamp. It's so you know for yourself, there's no whoopie do Jay. No such thing. There's the important, the imperative, imperative, eh, the, the very important process that's necessary for things to move forward properly in this third dimension is for you to become yourself. Again, is that not simple? Um, when you first wake up, start seeing, feeling things and everything, and it's like, wow! You, you understand you're part of a huge community that's always been there that you've never been able to access. Um, then you start growing pretty hard, and then that instant rush that you get, it's never the same. But it's still there and it's still very enjoyable and very nice and very um, fulfilling. So it gets better and better. But don't expect it to be the same rush. I've cranked people up before a long time ago in the beginning. And they their senses and everything else that came alive. They said, holy crap, do it again, do it again. I'll pay you again. I said, no, I can only do it once. That's the max. And I'm not going to take your money for that. That's stupid. So... 
I've screwed up in life, make mistakes like everything else. I'm not a thief. I'll never lie to you about anything. I make mistakes, yes, just like everything else. There's no such thing as perfect. That's the bullshit the religions give you. Anyway, the politicians, all this stuff is stupid. But you're not. Folks, I love you, man. Take care. That's what. That's why these gender issues, that's what's going on right now with gender. That's its origin. And uh, this is stuff that's coming up and what's going to happen. No one's ever talked about that. Someone has now, though. It's not about the someone. It's about the information. I'm not trying to make a over glorify this gender talk, but it's important. This is stuff that's coming. There's a lot of you out there that I'm talking to that want to hear this. There's a few thousand of you that are very strong, very powerful now, and you're getting stronger all the time, but you're also settling in more here and there. You still have that the thirst, that desire to learn more, to understand more, to see more, feel more. That's awesome. May that never stop. Love you folks, man. Take care and have a good one.